Hey everybody, my name is Corey. Um, I haven't found a uh, good tutorial for slip knots before I forget, uh, so I thought I'd make one myself. Uh, I guess I'll start out by uh, playing it through and then I'll show you how to do it. Obviously there's more to the song, but uh, I'm just going to stick with that for now. Um, I guess first things first, got to have uh, your guitar tuned down to drop B, which is drop D, down one and a half steps. Um, and the thicker strings you have, the easier it is to play, because I know when I first uh, started tuning it down to drop B, um, I just used uh, Ernie Ball Super Slinkies, which are relatively thin uh, strings. and. Uh, your swing will wobble around a lot and it'll seem really loose like you really need to tighten it so I'd recommend getting some uh, I got some Ernie Balls beefy strings on here they're a lot thicker and then when you drop down your tuning um, your, your strings stay nice and tight basically so um, the song starts out um, uh, a lot of it you're going to be playing pretty much the entire thing we're doing here is all on the 5th uh, and 6th string um, in the beginning it's going to be a, bit, a little bit of hammer-ons and pull-offs um, so hopefully you know how to do those. Uh, starts out on the sixth string. You're going to be hammering on from an open note uh, to the second fret twice, and then you're going to be um, yeah on the second fret, and then you're going to be on the third fret, a pull off to a hammer on on the second fret. So um, I'll show you how that sounds real quick. You're going to do the uh, second fret twice, open string hammer on. <coughs> do the third fret pull off to the second fret so it sounds like this that's how that goes like that um, this, once you're playing, you're playing it slow it doesn't quite sound right but as you get faster at doing it it'll it'll sound correct um, and then after that you're gonna be hitting the uh, fifth fret you're gonna hit the fifth fret fifth and sixth string you're gonna strum it twice then you're going to strum 5th uh, and 6th string open twice, 5th fret on the 5th and 6th string, string twice, and then open twice again. So uh, we'll play through from the beginning and then we'll do that 5th uh, fret part. So. so that's how that goes. Um, that's obviously your introduction. Um, then your chorus is going to be um, just a little bit of palm muting. Um, you're going to start out, you're going to be hitting your second fret four times, palm muted, on the uh, fifth and sixth string. And then uh, then you'll be hitting the third fret on the fifth and sixth string open without, I mean, uh, without the palm mute. Um, you'll do that four on the second fret fir first, then the third fret open, or uh, third fret without the palm mute. Then you're going to be doing three on the second fret and then open with the three on the palm mute um, and then you're going to hit the third fret without the palm mute open anyway. I know my explanation just did not make any sense but hopefully we'll pick it up from what it sounds like. So you got your second fret first four times and then the second time through it's three times and then second fret twice or you're gonna do your second fret four times then you're just gonna kind of 
hammer on to your third fret, pull off, and then hit your, and then hit your fifth fret twice, and then open twice. Actually, that was wrong because you're only doing it. You're doing this part once. Then you jump back into it like that. So, um, getting a little ahead of myself. That's actually your uh, pre-chorus part. You're gonna hit your second fret, fifth and sixth string twice, palm muted. Then your third fret, fifth and sixth string, palm muted still. And then back to the second fret, fifth and sixth string, palm muted like that and then you're going to be doing the fifth fret on the fourth string and I don't know if you know how to do a pinch harmonic or not but you're, this part you kind of need to learn how to do a pinch harmonic. I know there's plenty of people on YouTube that you can learn from. I'll post a video shortly um, showing you how to do it but uh, you're going to hit the uh, fourth string on the fifth fret for your pinch harmonic just like that. Then you do it. Then you do the uh, second third fret part again. Then you're going to be hitting the 5th string, 5th fret with the pinch harmonic. Then the 2nd and 3rd fret part again. 4th uh, string, 5th fret, pinch harmonic. Then you do the 5th uh, string, 5th fret, pinch harmonic again, or what I like to do because I'm only one guitar playing the song and you kind of got to pick and choose which parts you want. Um, I slide, slide down to the 15th fret, so that part would be like this. Just like that. So, um, and then the chorus starts. But it's either way. Here we go again. Try it one more time. Let me get the. Then your chorus jumps in. Make sure you hit this. Uh, chorus starts out with the second fret, uh, fifth and sixth string. Make sure you hit it nice and hard at the beginning. Kind of punch right into it. Um, you're gonna hit the. 2nd fret, 5th and 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th and string, 5th and 6th string, back to the 2nd fret, 5th fret, 5th fret open, then you're jumping up to the 7th uh, fret, 5th and 6th string, give it just a little bit of a bend, just like that, then you're back to the beginning, Then you're going to do the 8th and 7th fret on your 5th and 6th string. Back to beginning. That part's the same, um, except for this time you're going to be adding a little more. That's the 7th fret, and then the 8th fret. Jump up to the 10th fret. Down to the 5th. And you got 8 and 7 again, so we'll do that chorus all the way through. Just like that. Um, I guess I'll play it through slow. I'll start from the beginning the whole song. I'll play it through real slow. It's easy to pick up. It doesn't quite sound the same, I know, for me. I was thinking I was playing it wrong. Um, just because it doesn't quite sound the same when you're not playing at full speed, it takes a little bit of practice. And obviously that pinch harmonic is something you really got to work at. It takes, I know it took me a little while to get it where you can actually do it in a song. And obviously I messed up a little bit just trying to show you how to do it. So um, it does take a lot of practice, but I'll play through the whole thing slow. Um, so you know what you're, you're supposed to sound like, and then as you get better, it'll, it'll start to sound more and more correct. So I'll go through the whole thing real slow here, and uh, hopefully you can follow along and pick up speed.
full speed. <laughs> 